Hello everyone. The Paharias. The hill folk who lived around the Rajmagal hills were known as Paharias. They subsisted on forest produce and practiced shifting cultivation. These people considered the entire region as their land and they were hostile to the introduction of outsiders. The Paharias had always maintained their independence before the British came because of their geographical isolation. As their means of subsistence was not adequate, especially in years of scarcity, the Paharias often raided the plains occupied by settled agriculturists. These raids also symbolized a way of asserting power over the settled communities. The Zamindars on the plains generally paid a regular tribute to the Paharias to buy peace even as traders paid the hill chiefs to be permitted to use the passes controlled by them. However, this rather brittle peace negotiation disintegrated in the last decades of the 18th century when settled agriculture was expanded in eastern India with the British encouraging forest clearance. With the extension of settled agriculture, the area under forests and pastures was reduced, increasing the conflict between the hill folk and settled cultivators. The Paharias now raided settled villages more often. In the 1770s, the British resorted to a brutal attack on the Paharias, aimed at hunting them down and killing them. The Paharias rebellion of 1778 led by Raja Jagannath is notable. In the 1780s, the British initiated a policy of pacification. Paharia chiefs were given an annual allowance in return for ensuring that their men conducted themselves properly. Not all Paharias were ready to accept this policy. Some of them withdrew deep into the mountains, hiding away from the hostile forces and continuing the war against the Deku or outsiders. Like, share and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you. Bye.